But yeah, look at that. Oh. Oh. Wow. Just look at this beautiful teamwork, guys. Hey, what is up, Ammo Nation? Ammo here, and welcome back to another video. Now, in today's episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to build a iron farm or a gold farm. I don't know if it's iron or metal or whatever the hell it is, but we're going to be trying to build one of them. Because, as you guys can see, I am in a fully new location. I am at the Anubis Tower, which is right next to Mount Obsidian Midpoint, which has a lot of metal. So we're going to be trying to build a base there. I'm going to play a little bit of background video of when I tried building this, this when I started building this, I should say. But yeah, so we fully moved everything from the last episode because I just wanted a better looking base. And we've now got a gate with a nice location and it's got a nice bridge to our base. We're literally on a circle island with water, which looks pretty sick from above. But yeah, so today we're going to be just trying to find a little spot to build a, a full mining rig for metal with these dig toys. Or if we can get something better that does has better mining than dig toys, then we for sure will do that. Like this guy's a level three as well, but we want to see if we can get a level four. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. All right, so we're quickly going to just go scout real quick. And I've also had a comment recently about a very fast uh, saddle that I can get for a ground pal. And I will try to do that behind the scenes just to breed it. And then I'll show you guys the results. And hopefully it is a good pal because according to him, it was it is a pretty good pal. So I trust my viewers and I will go ahead and breed one of those. But for the meanwhile, let's just go ahead and try to find a nice location with a lot of metal. I know that near the volcano, there's a lot of that, but I need to check for myself. But I need to double check to see which location has the most amount of ore that we can mine at once with a few dig toys. So I believe this is also the home of Ditragon. I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he does spawn here. And I do want to see if we can take him on soon. Not now, because I mean, I'm level 34 and he's level 50. I will get squashed, but yeah. So it looks like there's a lot of sulfur nodes right there, but that is not what we are looking for. Holy, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine metal nodes, which means on average, each of them give about 80. So we would be getting around 800 metal per spawn, which is not bad at all. Not bad at all. I think we will select this location because that's actually a crazy amount of nodes to have it at. I just need to see if we can place a base here or not we can okay sick so i think i'll just place it you know a random location okay my bird needs to get out of the way damn um i think right here will do just fine should have everything in the vicinity and yeah we got every node in here except for one right there but that should be fine um so let's go ahead and place our dig toys in here if we have any um yeah, there's two right here. Dig toys, dig toys. And then we need someone that gathers. We'll be a good gathering pal. I guess we can have a, like two of these. And then they will gather and I'll just place some straw. Oh, I don't have any fiber on me. God damn it. All right, it's all good. Place a, we don't even have enough wood. <laughs> all right, let me just fast travel to my other base real quick. But yeah, look at that. Oh, oh. This is already going to plan. But Jesus. Alright. Uh, this is a little hectic. Let me go to my other base real quick. And make some pal beds and some chests for them to gather. There we go. And then we'll just make six beds real quick right here. And let's take out my new base so we can build those real quick. Five beds and I'm missing wood. <laughs> How much wood do I need? I literally don't want to go back, but I want to find some. Also, I did hear that we can catch these eternal pyres. Ah! They're trying to kill me. Oh my god, can I get the right pal out? Jesus. Get him, Robin Quill. Right. We are a little too strong. I do want to capture one of them. Seriously? Ah. You keep killing them first try. All right, I have enough for another pal bed, which is great. There we go. And now we need to build some storage. I need a lot more wood. God damn it. Because there is 
heaps of metal ore here. <laughs> All right, let's just go ahead and grab some more wood. Grab like 62. And then let's fast travel right here. Oh my God. That's insane. Let's just put them right here so they're not in the way in case. I don't think you need more than one. Transporting? Yeah, perfect. How much can they transport though? Holy. I just want to take a look at this from above. Oh geez. Oh my God. That is so much ore. Let's just see how much I can get just from sitting here. Oh. Jesus. That's not okay. Oh my god. And these will continue to respawn as well. Which is unreal to think about. Holy. This is gonna make farming ore so much easier. I think I need to get some better transporting piles though. Some that can carry more. Because they can't really carry that much. Holy. Oh my god. Alright. Well... That's going to make life a lot easier. I do want to get a food basket over here, though. That way they can just start eating whenever they please. Um, I'm just going to go and put this in the furnace. Obviously, eventually, we're going to automate it so that it cooks and everything without me needing to come put it in this every time. Look at that. 264 ingots within seconds. That should not be part of the game. That just eliminates the grind of having to do that every time. I don't mind though. I don't mind at all. All right, let's go ahead and get a food basket. How much, what do we need to make one? Just wood, perfect, all right. Then I'm gonna grab the 1,000 berries that are in there because these guys are gonna keep farming more. So I'm overweight now, okay. Might as well just do this. Um, since we're overweight, I wanna see what do we need to make those uh, hot springs aldium fragments and cement um i don't have the cement on me so i do need to get that <laughs> all right we got everything in the book and we are crazy overweight but it's okay because we can just use the grappler i'm gonna get the mega grappler soon too and like i said we are gonna breed that other pal from last time and try to capture a level four all right fast travel to here everything seems to be respawning perfectly what the hell i want to put them like completely out of the way there we go and then replace it there we go then we are also gonna put a feed box right here and let's take out my anubis look how fast he builds that that's just insane feed box and then we're gonna put those berries in here i'm actually gonna feed my team with them though there we go berries in here but now they can start eating. And we can actually place some furnaces here too. To make our lives a little bit easier. So we can start cooking it right here. Here we go. Let's place, place one right here. Because I know we have some fire guys in here. Yeah, this guy. And there we go. That should be good now. Let me just pick up all this iron. Oof. Heavy. Heavy indeed. Ugh. I wonder how much we got in the chest too right now. Probably a lot, like too much. Oh, only 22, not bad. I'm gonna put the cements in here so I can get the other stuff. Is it, they transport it very slow. All right, bang, 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 bang. And then, bang, bang. Easy peasy, lemon squeeze. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna take my cement back because I do need that for the base. And uh, yeah, that should be good. Start mining whenever, and it's gonna start spawning stuff whenever. And we've got our hot tubs, and yada yada. So I think we'll be good. And there you go, this guy's cooking some ingots. But we can go AFK here whenever we need to get some more stuff. But for now, let's go back to the base. All right, so the comment that suggested that we make a ground animal, I'll just look at it real quick. Comment is to breed a deer and a fire howl, and I'll get a six saddle. So we need to make sure we have a fire howl, or I think it was dire owl that he meant, and this at the deer. So I'm going to quickly replace just my ranch guys. 
All right, guys, unfortunately, I did do something stupid here. I didn't realize that there was a palette called the Fire Howl, and I ended up breeding it with a Dire Howl, which gave me Verdash, but it was supposed to give me a Fang Lope with the Fire Howl. So I unfortunately had to shave most of that down, but I'm going to play the clip of me finding out the absolute fail. And um, that won't happen again. I should have just searched up if there was a Fire Howl, but I didn't. So unfortunately, I had to shave most of that down and have a shorter video. All right, guys, the egg is finally done and there's no one to pick up all that stuff. Holy. Let's go ahead and check exactly what it is. It's a Verdash. But this one is swift and lucky. I already had a Verdash um, previously. I did not know it was this guy. But can we even... Do I have his saddle? Um... Um, it doesn't look like he has a saddle, but I was reading the comment and it said that you're supposed to get Fang Lope. So I went ahead and caught one just in case, which it made Verdash, which was weird. Um, <laughs> Fang Lope though is what it gave us. Let's check out. I mean, either way, I don't think we can unlock it. I don't have any points. Yeah. Damn. All right. Well, I'm going to make sure we get that for the next episode. But there you go. That's what that does. And thank you to the suggestion in the comments. Wow, just look at this beautiful teamwork, guys. Wow. So inspiring. I've been sitting here for about two minutes now, and we've got 428 ore. That is crazy. Oh my god. We just get this guy to fire it up. And it's pretty quick, too. So There's like a bunch more for them to pick up, too. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of today's video. Unfortunately, it is going to be cut short. I was expecting this video to be about 30 minutes long, but because of what happened and I had to shave everything down because I did the wrong thing on my end, I had to cut it all out. And that won't happen for the next one. I'm going to make sure I get a long video in for you guys. But with that being said, if you guys have any suggestions in the comments, leave them down below. Leave a like, subscribe if you guys enjoyed.